Number four, balance the following equations. And then we have just one equation here from the pack. This is letter C. We have PB solid, so lead plus H2O liquid plus O2 gas will yield or produce PBOH2 solid. I'm just going to rewrite the equation because they really didn't give me a lot of room to write down what I got to write down. So I'm just going to rewrite this PB plus H2O plus O2 will yield or produce PB. OH2. Let's just center this because we like everything nice and neat. Works for my brain. And now when we're balancing equations, remember we like to write that chart. It's a two-tiered chart. Two-tiered, two-tiered <laughs> two chart. Okay, yep, I can't speak English, but that's okay. Reactants on the left side and products on the right side. The reactants are is everything on the left side of that yield sign, the arrow, and the products is literally everything on the right side of that yield sign. List your individual elements. So just focus on one side. On the reactant side, I have a lead. I got a PB element. I got an H, and then I have oxygen, and I have more oxygen. So the only elements that we have are PB, H and O. You won't write O and O. That will get confusing, even though they, they come up twice. Um, just categorize it as one oxygen. And then whatever you write down over here, just put on the other side. Cool. Because whatever, re whatever elements that you have on this side, you have to have on this side. Now we go back to the equation. And we just write down how many we have of each. Well, here I have just one PB, so literally one. In H2O, I have two hydrogens, so I have to write a two here. And then for the total number of oxygens, I have one oxygen here, right? There was no subscript, no nothing. So there was one oxygen in this compound plus... So plus two oxygens on this molecule. So you have a total of one plus two is three. So I have three total oxygens. Now let's just say how many we have on this side. PB, you only have one of these. The two over here only goes for the elements in the parenthesis, not outside the parenthesis. So I have one PB. Let's see, I have oxygen. I have one inside the parenthesis, but just like we said before, it's all being multiplied by two. So I have to multiply those inside numbers by two. So I really have two oxygens and I have two hydrogens for the same reason. I had one in here. One times two is two. So there you go. Now let's try to balance. If I'm looking at this, it looks like I have the same number of PBs and I have the same number of hydrogens. The oxygens are a little messed up. They need to be balanced. But can I multiply two by any number? So can I multiply two by any number, whole number, to get to three? Uh, not really, right? So I have to do something to make it even. And literally an even number. If I turn this into a four, right, then I can easily take two and multiply it by two. It seems like this side is the problem because I have an odd number here and an even number here. Anytime you multiply by an even number, you're always going to get an even number. And anytime you multiply an odd number by two, you get an even number. So this is the problem here. I want to see if I could take this three and maybe turn it into an even number. Now, I have two oxygen positions on my reactant side. Which one is causing the problem? Which one is giving me this odd number? Well, and let me just put this over here. If I'm looking at this math, what we did to find the total number of oxygen, it looked like this was the odd number right? 
This one was the even, so who cares? It looks like I would have to change this number. So, let's just guess and check. And sometimes that's what balancing has, you know, that's what balancing is. Let's put a number in front of here so that I have an even number to get out an even number. Remember, there's a secret one here, so just bump up the number. Let's say that now I have two H2Os. So let's work with the oxygens first. How many oxygens do we have now? Well, we had one, right? There was one here, but now it has to be multiplied by two. So now this would be a two. I didn't do anything here, so that's still two. But now two plus two gives me a total of four. And now this number has changed from an odd number to an even number. However, whenever we put a number as a coefficient, for example, this two, you have to be fair. Just like we multiplied it to the oxygen, we have to multiply it by that hydrogen. How many total hydrogen do we have now? I had two, but now I multiply it by two. Two times two is four. So over here now, I have four. So now the hydrogens aren't balanced. So sometimes they will be balanced, and you have to make them unbalanced to kind of get the, the equation correct. But don't worry. Just keep, keep going with the process. They look like both of them are not balanced. So let's try to fix one of them. Let's keep working with the oxygen because that's what we, we, what we were trying to do in the first place. So now I have two. Can I multiply by any number to get four? Yeah, right? I can do two times two. And that number that you're multiplying goes in the front. And it's, in, it's on the front of the product side because literally it's on the product side. And I'm going to put a two here. And now, once you do that, you have to play fair. You have to multiply by all of the elements. So all the numbers here are going to get changed. So I'm just going to erase this check. Uh-oh. <laughs> so let's see. We have two PBs now. So this number changes to a 2. Oxygen was a 2, but now we're timesing it by 2. So that turns into a 4. And the same thing for the hydrogen. There was a 2 here. 2 times 2 is 4. Oh, so look at that. Just by adding or putting one number in front, my hydrogens are balanced and my oxygens are balanced now. But now the problem is the lead, the PB. But let's see. Can I multiply 1 by any number to get to 2? Yeah, I can. 1 times 2. That number goes in front, always the coefficient of what you're trying to multiply. So there should be a 2 here. And now you have two leads, and now everything is balanced. So for this one, you had two leads plus two H2Os plus one O2. Whenever there's no coefficient in the front, it's always a one. And that will always give you two PBO2 OH2s. And that's it. Guys, what'd you think? This one was interesting. It showed you that sometimes you have to unbalance things to balance them back again. And that's totally fine. Stick with the process. Okay. And that's all that balancing equations is about. Um, let me know how this worked. If you guys like the chart, let me know in the comments. Love hearing from you guys. And I, I hope you're studying hard and you're doing well on your exams and quizzes. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. And if you want to help us out, tell your friends, right? Tell your friends that there's these chem videos for them. I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.